A very good afternoon. Um, hope you're very well. Sorry I've not been around for a few days. Um, difference in appearance, no glasses. Uh, reason being, um, I've had eye surgery. I'm still recovering. Um, very strange <laughs> sensation, but that's the reason uh, that I've not been around. The beauty of not kind of being around is that I've been able to uh, put together a few thoughts around videos that I want to make. And what I've decided is um, to make a few short videos um, because I've been having a look at YouTube trends and it appears that um, people's engagement across YouTube tends to be very, very short, um, anywhere between about 1 minute 42 and about three, 3 minutes 48, knocking on the door of 4 minutes of viewing time. So if you're making a video that's 15 minutes long to get your message over, People are just not watching. So what I've decided to do is do a few uh, short videos. I'm going to try to keep them kind of five minutes, ten minutes at the most. Um, but what I want is your engagement. I need some kind of feedback as to uh, wh where we're going in this world because this is kind of where uh, I want these to go. So today's video um, is really about um, a very important word. Um, and I believe is the, the most important word in the English language at this particular point in history. And what is stopping us from using that word? So what word I'm actually you know, talking about? Is it some multi-syllable thing that you only find in the back pages of the OED? No, it's not. I've just used it there. The word is no. The way things are going at the moment, we're all very aware that we're being pushed in directions that it appears that we have little uh, or any control over, whether it be ULES in and around London or Sheffield, because they've got a ULES, the, um, the clean air zone here around Greater Manchester, which is absolutely huge, um, or um, 50 minute cities or central uh, bank digital currencies or digital IDs or that kind of thing. The word no is very, very powerful. It gives people um, very, very little choice, if indeed any choice. And that can be something as, as, as simple as you know, you've got children, you, your children are doing what they're doing. Can I have this? Can I have that? Can we go here? Can we do that? As a parent, if you say no, that's the end of it. Why? Because what they're going to say? Yes, OK, they may sulk and that's fine. But you said no. That's the deal. So how can we as, as, as people, as the population, make no as important in everyday life and the bigger societal changes that we're seeing now as important and as easy to enforce as saying no to your children. Well, that's to a certain extent quite simple. It is that regardless what a lot of people may think, um, and, and certainly the people who are most guilty of this are our politicians. They believe that they are the power in this country. Um, because we, as the electorate, allow them to do that. We, it is our fault that politicians believe that. They forget that we, the people, who are sovereign, uh, the king, who the, the, the word sovereign seems to be attached to, is incorrect. The people ourselves are sovereign in this country and has been the case before Magna Carta. Yes, that's how old that is. It is. Um, it's prime in, in, in our constitution that we are sovereign, the people are sovereign. And we put people in power to sit in the lower house to enact our will. And that's the whole idea of elections. Now, you know and I know that politicians never do that. They never uphold the promises. They never listen to us, the people. If they did, things would be very, very different right now in this country. So what's stopping us as a population using this very, very, very powerful word? Well, is it, I think what it is, is, is one of three things. It is either ignorance, 
people are just too interested in the nonsense of this world. Britain's Got Talent, Love Island, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, that kind of thing. As long as they've got their season ticket to United or City or Arsenal or Chelsea, that's all they care about. So maybe it's maybe it's ignorance. Um, they, don't, they don't involve themselves in the important stuff. Uh, maybe it's apathy. Maybe they they don't they're not bothered, you know. Maybe they think that well, you know, I bang my vote in every four or five years, and that's all I can do, and that's just how it is. Maybe it's that, or maybe it's the third one. The third one is a more insidious thing. Maybe it's fear. Maybe a lot of of the people are frightened. Of the political class maybe the people are frightened because they think that the politicians own us the free people of these islands maybe they think that the prime example of this is the tv license i believe i don't pay my tv license as you're aware i believe that a lot of people pay their tv license for fear for fear that can be trapped um, detective vans are a myth um, they believe that the enforcement officers have power they don't they're salesmen um, maybe it's fear that's stopping the use of this very very powerful word so I want to get your engagement this is where I'm going to stop this video now with six minutes in why do you think it is and I think it's achievable that things are getting so bad in this country right now. It is time, if ever there was time, it is time now for we, the people, the sovereign people of the United Kingdom, at this new beginning, because we've, we've just got the, 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 um, the new crowning of our new king, this new beginning to say, no, enough is enough. We're not going to stand for it anymore. We're not going to stand for high taxes. We're not going to stand for poor services. We're not going to stand for people going on strike who should be educating our children, who should be looking after our sick and our elderly. No, it, it's not going to happen. We are not happy that our own people living on the streets, people, ex-military people, who are living on the streets, who can't get a house, are being pushed to one side even further. And people who are no right to be here are getting houses. No. It's a simple word. It's a word we all know. It's a word we all use with everyone. Why en masse can we not use that word? Please let me have your thoughts. I think... I want to get more people engaged in this. If there's any ideas that you want me to touch on, by all means, put them down below in the comments. That's it for this one.